do good for a while, then they'll just go back and start doing the same thing again, you know. We'll keep you updated on that breaking news at krk.com. But concern is growing over a busy intersection in the Hensley community, and it's costing people their time but possibly more importantly, a sense of security. Thanks for joining us at 10 on Bob Clark. And I'm Ashley Katz. People say they're tired of the trains constantly blocking roads at the intersection of North Cedar Street and Hensley Road. That's near State Highway 365. They tell KRK4's Rochelle Turner it happens for long periods of time, causing major inconvenience and raising safety concerns. That's exactly right, Bob and Ashley. Good afternoon to you. This isn't the first time we've spoken to people in the small town of Hensley. We first told you about this problem back in March where people had to sleep in their car for almost seven hours because the train just stops on the tracks. Now, Union Pacific tells me that severe weather and flooding has impacted operations, causing delays, and people say they've had enough. They say the grass is always greener on the other side. It's a good community. A community Roy Rogers has called home since 1963. We still got a lot of good people that live in here. So. But there's one thing Rogers says is not so good. The train brings a lot of problems. Problems Rogers says he can't fix. This train track sits right in front of his home on North Cedar Street and Hensley Road near State Highway 365. They interfere with their work, and even worse, they, they, they interfere with when people get sick. Sitting here for about an hour and a half. Roger's stepdaughter captured this video last week. It's gotten so bad that when we call, they call it the Hensley train. He says he calls Union Pacific all the time. Woo! It hurt it more. So my daughter used to work in, in Little Rock at night, and she come home late at night, and she be sitting over across the track. So instead of sitting on the tracks for long periods of time, I would like to see an uh, overpass like we got in Red Pill. He's hoping this problem will pass on by. You get ready to go somewhere, you don't know where you're going to get out of. You come back home, you don't know how long you're going to be sitting up. A Union Pacific spokeswoman says severe weather and flooding is to blame for the delays. The company says it's frustrating for drivers to wait at a blocked crossing, and they do apologize. Back to you.